Okay, this is Dr. Krause again. I have been promising my students for a while that I would create a video on how to import a custom module. So in this case, um, I have given them a file, but maybe you have your own file that you're trying to create. You're trying to build a personal Python library or something. I think it's a really good idea. But you have some loose Python file, a .py file, that you've stored in some folder, and you know where that folder is and you want to be able to import it. So I've got robotics.py stored in c colon users, my username, Python stuff. And if I went to, so also just a free tip, if you're a little sick of the amount of time it takes to launch the Anaconda, Anaconda Navigator, sometimes that seems a little slow, you can just open up a, open up a Windows PowerShell and type Jupyter-Notebook and hit enter. And that will launch the notebook directly without going through PowerShell. And then if I were to create some new or open up some existing, um, well, let's just get a new one because this is going to obscure what I'm trying to say. Um, and so the symptom of this would be, okay, I've stored that file, uh, but when I try to type import robotics, I get a module not found error, no module named robotics. And so there are a couple of ways around that. You've probably learned that if you just dump that in a f the current folder you're working with, then everything is fine, which is great, but if you have to always copy all of your modules into whatever folder you wanna work in, or you have to put all your Python stuff in one folder, that's gonna get a little messy. And so what we wanna be able to do is just store modules in different folders that would be for different purposes, and then we would import them into other things. And to know how to do that, the issue is that you have to have a file called whatever the module name is, .py, somewhere on your Python path, um, parentheses, otherwise it could also be in a folder named module name, and inside that folder is a file called underscore underscore init underscore underscore dot pi, um, but then that folder would have to be in the Python path. So the issue is the Python path, which we're going to learn how to set here in just a minute, but if you want to check it, type import sys, and then look at sys.path, and what sys.path is, is a list of all of the folders that the Python is going to look in when it tries to import a module. And if you were paying attention, I said that this was in C colon users, Ryan Krauss, Python stuff. And you'll note that there's nothing in here called Python stuff. And so we need to get the new folder into sys.path. Um, so what we're going to do is enter is edit an environment variable. Um, if you open up a, first you have to be able to spell, um, a little search bar in Windows and type environment variable, you're gonna get edit environment variables for your account. If you don't have a variable called Python path, which you probably don't, you need to create a new one. Type Python path, all one word, all caps. And then I'm gonna flip over here and click in this little Windows Explorer bar and copy that path. And then get back to that little window I was just in and paste that, and it's a semicolon delimited list of folder paths. And so I'm just gonna put a semicolon on the end there. I don't know if that's essential or not, but I'm gonna do that, and then I'm gonna hit okay. Now, if I come back over here, um, nothing is gonna change. I'm pretty sure that if I were to restart and run all on my kernel, um, it still doesn't know where robotics is, and sys.path still doesn't have that Python folder. The reason for that is that we got to restart um, this PowerShell, so close it. I'm actually going to hit Control-D or something to end the... That's not working, so I'm just going to close it. Um, and then reopen the PowerShell. Relaunch Jupyter Notebook. Otherwise, you'd have to close and reopen the Anaconda Navigator. And then I think it's this last one that I just created. So now, if I know what I'm doing, that's going to be happy. But also, if I had said import sys and sys.path, you'll notice that c colon users, my username, Python stuff, is now on sys.path. And I can prove that the robotics actually imported because I now have robotics, for example, if I wanted to get a 30 degree Z rotation homogeneous transformation matrix, bam. So that's working. And then I can put any number of folders if I wanted to come in here and create a different folder. Um, 
and put that folder on my Python path, I can do that. And then when I reload and restart, sys.path will show those other folders. So the main issue is how do I get a Python path variable? And again, you go to your start menu and just search for environment variables and you want to edit environment variables for your account and then create a new variable called Python path if it doesn't already exist. If you wanted to add to it, I could then come in here and oops, um, you know, have a folder called more Python or something. Um, hit OK, and that would work. Now again, that won't show up right away. I would have to close this and then relaunch the PowerShell and all of that, but it would work. So yeah, just get the full, save. So if, if someone wants to send you a link to some Python file they want you to use as a module, save it somewhere on your hard drive and make sure you know where that is. Then make sure that folder is on your Python path and then it should work. Thanks.